Good morning, it's the 2nd of December. I am the founder of Solution on Wheels and we have the editor-in-chief of Harbor Times. That's me, Andrew Work. Harbor, always with the you. Yes, always with you. Ah, ah that's okay. true. Okay, keyword for today. Yep. A hyphenated word. Bid rigging. Bid rigging. Yes. And what is bid rigging? Well, it's one of the two things that are going to be thrown up for council today. There's, we've got two questions on the docket. Strangely enough, there's only two questions. Okay. In there? For LegCo in the afternoon. They may add more. All uh, right. But, but the two that were kind of pre-published. Okay. Uh, we're from both of the pro-establishment LegCo members who got beat in the district council elections recently. Uh -huh. I don't know why. That's kind of a weird coincidence. But... Uh, Christopher Chung is just going to say the government should be doing more about bid rigging. Uh -huh. It's not being very specific, so look. Chris Chung is that uh, the doctor. Chris Chung, right? Well, they're all doctors over there. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, all these kind of dodgy doctors. It's Tree Root Chung, right? Is, is that him? Is that Chris yeah, Chung? Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, the pro-establishment yeah. DAB guy. Yeah. yeah. So he wants to combat bid rigging, which is the process whereby people get control of building councils, mm -hmm. so they can hand out contracts to friends at you know double, triple the actual value, and the people in the building just kind of pay their management yep. fees and don't ignore the triads, you know, All clean right. house. So there's there's one of the two. The other one I thought was really funny. Mm -hmm. uh, the doctor from a bungalow in Hawaii, Elizabeth Quat. Oh, Doctor Elizabeth Quat. The yes. two doctors. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So she is a doctor, also from DAB. Doctor. Uh, also from DAB, yeah. uh, and if anyone's wondering so why I'm saying doctor, go look it so up. So DAB stands for Doctors DAB? Alignment yeah, for the Betterment yeah, of yeah, Hong yeah, Kong? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's Doctors always be something. <laughs> um, okay, Dr. Quat is trying to become Dr. Doolittle. Oh, so okay. it's related to animals? It's related to animals. Dr. Doolittle, the famous uh, chil children's book character who loved the animals, could talk to the animals. Yeah. Uh, cartoons, really terrible movie with Eddie Murphy, so terrible they made a second one. Uh, and so now she's getting on the whole uh, endangered species and trying to get Hong Kong to block trade in endangered species. And, you know, in her five part motion says, you know, move towards a ban on ivory. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. Interesting. Because this is not a Typical Speaking of which, we have Paul Zimmerman right there. No, oh, there's Paul Zimmerman <laughs> walking by. Also big on saving the endangered species, but that is more commonly the domain of guys like Paul Zimmerman. Yeah. Right? Just walking by, doing a bit of work. Um, it is typically the domain of people like that who are more in the pro-democratic camp, who are yep. big on save the planets, you know, urban design, these types of things. To see a DAB person pick up this flag and wave it around is very interesting. It's a desperate move, especially as you said, the two okay. doctors yeah. were beaten in district council elections. Okay. So they, so what's they that? are now yeah. digging, not beat rigging, but yeah. digging the middle class votes. Yes. They came for yeah. more middle class votes. Yes, because they can't run in super seats because they don't have district yeah. council seats. So they're going to have to run in the uh, geographical. Yeah constituencies, unless they can find a safe functional, but I don't think and, so. Those and, are and, and consider uh, Elizabeth Court. Yeah. Uh, she normally works the Sha Tin crowd. Yep. And Chris Chung. Yeah. He normally works the Eastern crowd. Mm. Both are relatively wealthier. Yes. Oh. Enclaves. Yeah. And they so, care. They care about things like so this. So they are trying to get the middle class yeah. to vote for them. Yeah. That's why I think. Yeah, it's so. interesting because usually you associate the DAB with trying to protect all the industries. There he goes on his motorcycle. Uh, you tend to associate the, the DAB with uh, trying to protect all the industries, kind of anything old school. Yeah. But this ivory ban is a very modern thing. You would think the ivory traders would be getting oh after yeah, the DAB oh and yeah, saying, what oh are yeah. you doing to us? And you know what? And I think if the two doctors yeah. does not cling onto these newer issues yeah. for, for the pro-establishment camps, yeah. They would be out. They're going to get left behind. They yeah. would be out because yeah. they always have younger generation coming yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. So look. So I guess keep an eye on this. And the thing to look out for in the future is the greening of the DAB. Are they going to pick up environmentalism as an issue so that the pro Dems can't just own it on their own? Great analysis. And if you like our show today, remember to search for Solution on Wheels in Facebook or in YouTube. Press subscribe, like, share, please. We need your support. And Harbor Times, uh, harbortimes.com, at Harbor Times on Twitter, and of course, Facebook. Harbor with a U. Always with you. All right. Good work, Andrew. Good solutions, Vincent. Bye.